Hey, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. We're going to do Second Chance Sunday. So should you give them a second chance? So um, we're going to use this to choose the deck. And at the end, I will do um, six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, we're dealing with a Gemini, and you got the Everyday Tarot. So we're going to use this tiny-ass deck to answer the question. Should you give them a second chance? Second chance Sunday. All right, tiny ass deck. All right, so, and it's already been shuffled, so I'm just doing a good faith shuffle at this point. All right, so, oops, they definitely want to come out. Um, six of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and then Five of Pentacles. Ooh. <sighs> so it's, it's showing you looking things over. So it's telling you actually, because I'm going to put them, I'm going to reverse them here. Um, interesting. So it's telling you to really look things over to see whether or not you're going to have success because you're feeling left out in the cold and you don't want to be, feel left out in the cold again. And you don't want to be left on hold um, while somebody analyzes things. But at the same time, it's asking you to actually take a good look um, as to whether or not you are going to really think you have success with them because I feel like you may be left out, feeling left out in the cold if you take them back. Because maybe maybe they've made you, um, maybe they put you on hold and then they come rushing in and the next thing you're on hold again and feeling left out in the cold. So it's telling you to really look things over as to whether or not you think this can be successful because I think you are probably going to feel left out in the cold again. So it's kind of like a no. Um, but let's just see. Just it's You really need to analyze things, look things over. Really, really think about it. Look how far you've come and what you've really achieved. Um, okay, so we've got some interesting cards here. You have, well, at least they don't hate you. <laughs> um, they, they kind of, they kind of feel like they screwed up a little bit, but they're not really taking responsibility for it. Um, they like both sexes, get a reading, put in, make them put in more effort. They're secretly thinking marriage though. Um, and they... They kind of want you to make the first move. It's not totally definite. If you don't, then they, they'll reach out. Um, so if you're dealing with an Aries, what the fuck is that deck? Oh, here, right in front of me. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries, and this has already been shuffled as well, so just do a good faith shuffle. They're they're kind of a playboy playgirl with trust issues. Um, the Taurus is focusing on um, self love, and they're kind of focused. They're a little bit materialistic, I think. Um, the Gemini uh, has a lot of love for you, and they want to reunite. The Cancer is horny, and they see you as their two of cups. Um, they want to share love. The Leo is feeling done and just wants to move on to calmer waters. The um, Virgo is being stubborn, and the, it's going to be a tower moment. That it's not going to work. It's going to bust apart. The Libra, um, they want things to heal and grow. They're, they have got a lot of, they have a lot of passion for you. Um, the Scorpio is making a judgment call because they feel heartbroken. Um, it doesn't say they're walking away, but they're making a judgment call of some sort. Um, the Sagittarius is going to reach out and they want to take a leap of faith. The Capricorn, um, feels like they know what they know. They feel like that they think they, they know what they know and they're holding back. The Aquarius is going to um, offer you something. They see you as their ton of cups, like ultimate happiness. Um, and then the Pisces um, wants to work together with you. They actually might be a little bit manipulative, and I think there might be a little third party. There's going to be some third party stuff in there, I think. I hate to say it. There might be a third party energy there. Um, and there's some secrets that you don't know, Gemini. And you're being, you're staying quiet, too. So you're, you're keeping yourself, too. You're not really saying what your motives are up. What, you know, what you're up to. All right, so um, if this resonates, feel free to hit the like button. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.